Okay, hello, good evening, everybody. Hello, hello, it's nice to have you one more time on this beautiful day. We have Monday early in the morning, so it's nice to see you one more time, and I hope you had a great weekend. We'll continue um, practicing a little bit of English, right, and like uh, reviewing what is the content that you have available on the platform. As you may know, on the platform, you have some, um, let's say, content that you're um, checking while at home. In here in the class, we will try to like have a review on those ones. And if you have any question about those kind of, let's say, topics or content that you have available over there, you can ask any time about it. Okay. Um, so welcome. And I hope you had a, had a great day today. Yes, it's a rainy day, which is wonderful. Yeah, the weather is nice. And I hope, right, that you're home. Because if you're home, that's nice. But if you're like traveling or like by car or like taking the bus right now, so I'm, I'm sorry for you. That's not good. Okay, so, um, welcome. This is section number three. And we're going to work with how much it is. That is the section number three. Demonstratives, one, one. And this is free intermediate one, class number five. Okay, so uh, welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Some of you are here. Uh, don't forget that I need to see your camera so that I can see your beautiful faces, right? Uh, happy and, and be, uh, being ready at home. Yes, that's nice. So I can see your faces, right? So I'm, I'm just, just speaking to myself, you know what I mean? We have Jenny. Come on, we good morning. <laughs> we have uh, Jenny, also Ileana. Good afternoon. Jenny dijo, teacher, es que no escucho, no escucho bien. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, me I'm sorry. Bien. That's okay. I'm sorry for the day of today. That's okay. No problem. No problem. Está no aquí bien fuerte la tormenta. Yes, that's true, right? Uh, the storm is kind of like heavy. Pero present, teacher, present ante todo. Okay. Present. No estoy pasando la lista todavía. Ya me adelanté. That's good. That's good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, right? Yes. So, welcome. Welcome. Okay. Oh, let me see. So, it's nice to have you one more time. Okay. Um, iba a recordarles, right? Este, pues el trabajo que tienen en la plataforma, ¿sí? uh, con los ejercicios, con el material que ha habilitado hoy para ustedes. Igual si tienen algún inconveniente, no duden en contactar pues, a las personas que están pues, apoyándoles. ¿Sí? Eh, eh, pues inglés corporativo que están ahí siempre pendientes y cualquier cosa pues con ellos para que pues pueden tener alguna duda o algún Right. Remember, like in la vida, in life, everything has a solution, right? So todo tiene solución. Yeah. So don't worry. Be happy, right? And enjoy. Enjoy. Yeah, that's right. Um, so thank you. Voy a tomar la attendance right now. Voy a tomar la asistencia. Cuando escuches su, your beautiful name, please say prison or I'm here. Let's begin with Alba Luz Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Welcome. Alejandra Maria Mejia. Alejandra Maria Mejia. Rukiroki. Angel Isaac Tibrian. Angel. Angel. Your coach. Perfect. Thank you so much, Angel. Carlos David Lopez Amaya. Present teacher. Good evening and welcome, Carlos. Claudia. Constante. Present teacher. Thank you, Claudia. Good evening. Concepción de Lourdes. Concepción de Lourdes. No, no. no. Okay. Cristian. Galicia, Galicia. Cristian. Hello, Cristian. No. Okay. Let's move on with Dalila Cristina Gomez Luna. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Elena Marisol Peralta. Present teacher. Good evening. 
Gabriela Alejandra Ramírez de Galdames. Gabriela Alejandra Ramírez de Galdames. Ok, let's move with Gabriela Lisset López. Gabriela Lisset López. Thank, thank you, Gabriela. Good evening. Gabriela Noemí Orellana. Present teacher. Thank you, Gabriela. Um, Iliana Elizabeth Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Ingrid Ventura. Ingrid Ventura. No, okay. Irma Elena Galdames Mancilla. Irma Elena Galdames. No, okay, okay. Let's move on with Jefferson Alexis Perez. Jefferson Thank Alexis. You. Thank you, Jefferson. Good evening. Welcome. Jenny Molina Cortez. Present you... teacher, present. <laughs> Thank you, yes. That's very nice. Okay. Jose Montes Fuentes. Jose Montes. Hello, hello, Jose. No. Okay. Juan López. Juan López. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Juan. Uh, uh, yo había, yo había, yo, per, per, excuse me. Yo había notificado de que iba a estar de oyente porque el, el, el problema del trabajo y la señal que está lloviendo aquí. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Pero cuando pueda participar, voy a, voy a, voy a poder. Voy a hacer... oh, very good, very good. Thank you so much, okay? Thank you so much. I appreciate okay, it. Okay, okay. Very okay. good, very good. Catherine. Catherine. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Catherine. Leticia del Carmen. Leticia del Carmen. Okay. Um, Luis Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, Mariela Martinez. Uh, thank you. Ya voy a revisar el chat en, en, en Zoom, ok? Just give me a minute. Eh, estoy revisando el chat aquí en WhatsApp, pero eh, aparece un nombre. Thanks. Miguel. Miguel. Miguel Men Meléndez. Okay. Olga Valdés. Hello, Olga. Oh, okay. Telma Hernández. Hello, Telma. Present teacher. Thank you so much, um, Telma. Welcome. Verónica Alicet. Present teacher. Good Thank evening. You. Thank you so much. Good evening. Uh, Vilma Cortez. Vilma uh, Cortez. Thank you. And Zaira. Zaira, we're going to start that here on WhatsApp. On WhatsApp, on soon. Thank you, Irma. Olga, okay. Um, and Olga, okay, Olga. Thank you. And Irma, right? Irma. Sí, lo que pasa es que en el chat de WhatsApp, este solo me aparece un nombre, entonces. Así que en el, en el meeting, sí, en el chat, póngame por favor que pues no puede participar. Bye. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. What I'm is your name? Uh, Concepción de Lourdes Núñez Barrera. Thank you, Concepción. Welcome. Gracias. Nice to have you. Gracias. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Nice to have you one more time. We check the check. Okay, somebody saying in the chat, teacher, this is my favorite class. Oh, thank you so much. You're very nice. Oh, that's very wonderful. Thank you. Okay. I'm just, I'm just kidding. Okay, absolutely. Okay, okay. We're going to start with a conversation, right? If you have in el, pues en el material que está en la plataforma, tenemos una conversation. Yes, hay un video ahí. Lo voy a compartir ahorita si no lo ha visto, right? So you can watch that video here in the class. Y luego vamos a practicar un poquito la conversation. Yes. Right? 
So welcome everybody again, and it's nice to have you. Vamos a ver this video. Yes, solo esperen que esta cosa will. It's ready. Here we have a conversation. Okay. Um, and then we will practice all together. Let's listen and watch. Hi, we're now in section three. What is your neighborhood like? Please pay attention and try to understand the audio as much as possible. Remember, you may access to this conversation as many times as needed. I recommend for you to take notes while you are listening. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm. Yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Hi, we're now in section three. What is your neighborhood like? Please pay attention and try to understand the audio as much as possible. Remember, you may access to this conversation as many times as needed. I recommend for you to take notes while you are listening. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm. Yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay, so there we have this conversation, right? Uh, let me go to the next one. Uh, Irma, can you tell me, please, what is this conversation about? Thank you so much. Eh, Irma, parece que tiene un conveniente con su audio. No, 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 le, no le escucho. Sorry. Sí. Ahora sí, ya. Yeah. The conversation is about the go the shopping about earrings that Maria wants and his and her friend he they are looking for something to buy. And the conversation is about uh, the items that they have found in the store jewelry store very good what are those items irma uh the the first one are the earrings and the necklace a necklace right thank you so much we have earrings and necklace very and good. Necklace. yes very good right so the title is they're perfect for you they're perfect for you right Entiende esta expresión here, Lourdes, esta expresión here, they're perfect for you. And do you understand this expression? They're perfect for you. In, in, in español? Oh, yes. I mean, do you understand the phrase? Es, es perfecto para ti? No. That's wonderful. Very good. Right? When something when something looks very good on, on somebody, we say, oh. They're perfect for you, okay? Very good, that's right. So we have Steve and Maria, okay? Yes, we are going to have some practice before you get into the pairs, right? Hello, Miguel, good evening. It's nice to have you one more time. Welcome, Thank you, welcome. teacher, good evening. Thank you so much, uh, Jose Antonio Montes. Thank you so much for communicating that to me on the chat. No problem at all. Okay. Gabriela, Noemi. Hello, Gabriela. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Usted va a ser Steve. Okay. 
and your partner is going to be, let me check, Gabriela Lisset Lopez Ramirez. Usted va a ser María. Ok, Gabriela. Ok. Ready? Let's begin. Oh, look at, at those earrings, Maria. Very perfect for you. These red ones, I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these. Mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. A few, a few details with pronunciation. We have this, the, the word yellow. Yellow, right? Yes. Yellow. Also, we have isn't bad. That necklace isn't bad, right? That necklace isn't bad. Let me see. Yep. Very good. Very good. Great pronunciation. Okay. So, uh, do you have any question about this conversation? Alguna pregunta del vocabulary or something that you do not understand? Let me know. Because I have a question for you. Okay. Oh, Irma, thank you so much. Uh, when, when can we use uh, the word one? Oh, one. For example, okay. that blue one, yellow ones. Yes. Very good. Okay. Uh, la clave está, ya se lo voy a compartir right? later, pero la clave está with singular and plurals. Okay. That is the key. Okay, singular objects and plural objects, okay? So it's not something like, you know, uh, difficult, but the key is with plurals and singular. Okay, so if you notice here, we have the expression, which one? And here we have these red ones. So that is the one. You see here, that blue one right there. So here we're talking about just one item. And in here, we're talking about with plural, because we have these, which is a plural word, right? So that's why we have the expression ones with S. So basically that is giving us all, that means plural context, right? And in here, when we have just one, it's basically just one, one item, okay? Thank you so much. Okay, toma la captura de pantalla, please. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Toma la ahí, right, uh, teacher. Okay, Alejandra, very good. Y voy a hacer los grupos de tres for some of those partners that have some inconvenience with the audio, yes? So, I'm going to do the groups of three, yes? In the case of some, they can't participate, yes? So, if you have another partner there, so you can practice. And if the three can participate, well, that's fantastic. Yes? Okay, okay. Okay, so take a uh, screenshot there, please. Capture there to the conversation. Yes. And I will open the breaker rooms. I will open the breaker room so you can join with your partners and practice. Le voy a dar five minutes so you can practice, right? And again, remember, this is about practicing, right? So it doesn't matter if you have mistakes in pronunciation, I need you to practice. I will be checking some groups so I can help you out with that pronunciation. Okay, you just, oh, thank you so much, Gabriela. That's very nice of you. Thank you so much. Okay, here we go. Let me check really quick something here. Um, eh, voy a dejar en el grupo, en, en, el, en el main room, voy a dejar a Ángel Isaac. Está aquí Ángel. ¿Puede participar, Ángel? Oh, ¿Puede participar? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. Luis Alejandro, ¿puede participar? Sí, profe. Okay, Mariela Araceli Martínez, ¿puede participar? Mariela Araceli Martínez. 
No, entonces solo voy a dejar a Ángel y Luis aquí en el main room. Ustedes van a participar aquí en el main room. No se vayan a unir. Please, don't join. Y los demás, yes, you need to join your classmates so you can practice this conversation. Five minutes for you to practice. Do you understand, Gabriela? Do you understand, Gabriela Lisette? Gabriela, do you understand? Sorry, coach, can you repeat? I think my connection was bad in this moment. Okay, no problem. Les pedí que tomaran captura, right? Just a screenshot of uh, the conversation, right? Entonces voy a abrir los breaker rooms so you can get with you with, with the partners y practique la conversation. Okay? Les voy a dar five minutes so you can do that. Okay, let's, let's see. There you have it. Okay. Thank you so much. Very good. Very good. Very good. That's wonderful. Very good. Ileana, Alba. Okay. Uh, Jefferson, Juan, please. Thank you so much. Okay. Jefferson and Juan, tienen que darle unirse al, al, al group so you can get with your partners, okay? Okay. Very good, very good. Y en um, los que se quedan, Ángel y Luis, este es su tiempo so you can practice, okay? La conversation. Okay? Okay, teacher. Perfect, perfect. Okay? Angel, hi Luis, you listen here? Okay, Steve and Maria. ¿Cómo la captura? Hola. ¿Tiene la captura, Leo? Oh, uh, look at the actos earrings, Maria. They look per perfect for you. These red, red ones. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's for 42 that's expensive hey let me get me escucha bien si sí, te escucha um, no tengo el la captura la captura de la conversación si sí. Um, creo, ah. Thank you, teacher. Good teacher. Okay. Who will start? Okay. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They are perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, this mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that next one is not bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much it is? It's so 42, 42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. That was very good. Just tell me. Solo una recommendation, right? Recommendation, right? Sí. Aquí, eh, vaya a ser con how much y luego uno estos dos. Is it? How much is it? Okay. How much is it? How much? How much is it? Is it? Um, is it? Is it? How much is it? Como que une la S con la I, right? How much is it? Okay, how much 
How much is it? Very good. Very good. Okay. okay. And also pronunciation with okay. yellow. Yellow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yellow. So it's suena como una I, yellow. Right? Yeah. Very good. Voy a dejar de compartir. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Good job. Fantastic. Oh, this response. I'm not sure. Now, the yellow ones. Oh, this mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Green does. Netflix. It's one. Which one? That is blue one right there. How much it is? It's forty-two dollars. That's expensive. Hi, like Mehiti for you. It's you birthday present happy day. Thank you so much, everybody. Great job. Great job, Luis. Very good. Nice job, Luis. Uh, right. Um, sí, noto que tiene algunos uh, inconvenientes with pronunciation, Luis. Uh, very good. Right. Uh, por, por intentarlo. Sí, le recomiendo, Luis. Uh, practice, right? Practice. Uh, el video que les compartí está en la plataforma. Usted lo puede ver cuantas veces quiera. Right. So, okay. la play y usted lo repite. Right. Yes. Sí. Perfect. Very good. Okay, let's continue with something else here. We have these boxes here, okay? So, what is in this picture? What is this thing, right? What is this? A box. It is well, a box, box. Right? It's a box. And here, in the other picture, we have? Boxes. A we bunch of boxes. boxes. Exactly, <laughs> right? So, we have two. We have singular, one box, and this one is plural. So, we have more than one. Singular and plural. Keep in mind this one. Keep in mind this one because singular and plural sometimes is somehow difficult porque hay muchas cosas que vocabulary that goes with plural and vocabulary that goes with singular. Yes? And when we use them, Carlos? Carlos David? Eh, sí, teacher. Eh, hablando de ese tema de singular y plural, pero acá se refiere a objetos, pero en el caso que aquí, un ejemplo, hay dos Carlos, ¿cómo se hiciera en plural esa parte? ¿Cómo se aplicaría el, el plural de, hay tres, cuatro personas que se llaman Carlos, un ejemplo? Oh, oh that means like names, uh, like, let's say, say names. Ya, yeah, en ese caso, solo hago plural la palabra. You know, la palabra para decir nombres, right? ¿Cómo decimos nombre en inglés? Name. Mm -hmm. name. Name. Name is singular. Entonces, a usted le preguntan, what is your name? Yes. What is your name? Yes. Entonces, yo le pregunto, excuse me, what is your name? Y luego, le, otra vez, what's your name? What's your name? Ahora, si algo es plural, yo le pregunto, right? Names. Right? Si usted va con su familia, right? Y me lo encuentro, hi, right? Usted me dice, oh, this is my family. Yo le pregunto, what are their names? ¿Sí? What are their names? Yes. Y ahí no, no importa si, si se repite, right? Todos se llaman María, o todos se llaman Carlos. Eh, it doesn't matter. Okay? No sé si está clara la, la respuesta, eh, Carlos. Sí, sí, gracias, teacher. Perfect, perfect. Eh, that's a very good question because... Eh, la mayoría de cosas la podemos hacer plurales, salvo las cosas que son incontables. Por ejemplo, sugar, rice, water, ¿sí? o más que todos los ingredients, right? Or, or, or food sometimes. Que tenemos que ponerla en, en un object so we can count them, right? Pero de ahí los objetos normales, right? Puede ser los names, los countries, lo podemos hacer plural. Thank you so much for your question. Okay. Oh. Going on here. Give me a minute because this thing doesn't allow me to go to the next one. Okay, let's see. 
Yes, we have these demonstratives. In these demonstratives, we have singular and we have plural, right? Yes. Which ones do you think are plural? Lourdes, ¿cuál cree que son plural? Lourdes, which ones do you think are plural? This and those. Okay, very good. These, very good. And those. Ah, these. Very good. These and those. These and those. Pronunciation is un poquito lar larga, right? Long pronunciation. These and those. Exactly. So these and those, right? If you see here, remember verb to be, right? Do you remember verb to be? What is the singular verb to be? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh huh. Remember that little thing? Let's uh, eat. Very good, exactly. So we have eat, right? Let's eat. Is the word to be is coffee with a with a pastry, right? Coffee with a pastry. So we can have it every single day. Oh, just me, give me a minute because I need to use the other one. So is is singular. Is is singular. Yes, right. It's singular and the plural we have are. Yes, yes. So in this one, we need to be careful because there is vocabulary that is specifically plural and there is vocabulary that is specifically singular. Los objetos, yes, los podemos hacer singular and plural. Yes, depending on, on the thing. Pero hay palabras que siempre son plurals and siempre son singular. Yes? So we need to put them together. Let's begin. Um, Miguel, can you help me reading these examples, please? Thank you. Here. Uh, sure, teacher. The demonstrative adjective describes a noun. For example, this chair is broken. That car is expensive. These clothes are wet. Those birds are flying south. Continue. Thank you so much. No, that's, that's, that's okay. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay? okay. So if you notice here, tenemos verb to be, right? Y aquí es donde vamos jugando con singular, singular, singular. Plural, 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 right? So singular, singular, singular. Yes, this chair is broken. Okay, singular, singular, yes, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, here we have, okay, singular. That car is expensive. Singular, 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 right? And then we have plural, yes? And then we have plural, yes? These clothes are wet. Those birds are flying south. So we have plural, 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 mm -hmm. plural. Yes? So this is the way we play, right? Yes? Right? This and that, right? This and that, if you notice, right? Yes. Singular. This and that, singular, right? This is cuando el objeto está very close, está very cerca de nosotros, y el that es cuando está lejos, right? Igual acá, tenemos this cuando los objetos están cerca, y those cuando están lejos. Yeah? Eh, 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 disculpe, teacher. Uh -huh. Es como que this es, de seu, es como, digamos, una segunda, por ejemplo, una segunda persona y that es como una tercera persona que. Uh, no, no, no lo vea así, no lo vea así, sino que véalo como para demostrar something. Véalo como para indicar dónde está un objeto, si está lejos de mí o cerca de mí. ¿Ya? Yeah? Uh -huh. Ok, ok. Yes, very good. Entonces, when I use this and that, these and those, what I'm saying is como que estoy, ve, con el dedo, right? Oh, va usted on the street, va al centro usted, y ve el montón de backpacks, right? Si está ahí donde la señora le dice, ah, how much is that backpack? How much is that, I don't know, how much are those backpacks, right? So, that is the way. Entonces, usted como que señala el auto, pero yo puede estar cerca, right? Si yo digo, mire, oh, this is, no, vale, This is my cell phone, right? So this is my cell phone. It's, it's here with me. Y solo tengo one cell phone. Yes? Ahora, si tuviera más, puedo decir, these are my cell phones. Yes? These are my cell phones, right? So, con el this y el that, el this y el those, 
solo indico, pues, que hay algo ahí. Y es, puede ser singular o plural, and also puede estar uh, close or far. Y es, puede estar lejos o, o cerca. Y es, close or far. Y es, uh, and this is the way we use it. Ok. Here we have more examples. Ok. Ayúdeme, Irma, please, with these examples. Thank you so much. Ok, ok. It's a pleasure. The demonstrative pronoun identifies someone or something. This is my chair. That is Peter's house. These are her clothes. Those are migrating birds. I don't know. Thank, thank you so much. Migrating birds. Migrating birds. Very good. Migrating right? birds. Exactly. Again. Very good. La diferencia en estos dos examples, que aquí, right, aquí tenemos un adjetivo, yes? Expensive, wet, flying, south, right? Entonces, por eso aquí tenemos demonstrative adjective, right? Porque aquí tenemos un adjective que nos está indicando, pues, a la chair. Aquí tenemos demonstrative pronouns, pues, porque lo único que estoy uh, anunciando es la, el object, yes? Right? Sí. ¿Eh? Eso es lo único que estoy haciendo. Aquí sí, pues, estoy mencionando, si usted se fija, mire, tengo this chair. Tengo primero el objeto, después del this, yes, right, y luego tengo el verb to be, ¿ok? Y aquí es lo contrario, right, yes, tengo primero el verb to be, yes, yes, y luego, pues, en medio tengo algo más, ya sea un positivo, yes, o una palabra, related to the other one, yes. So that is the difference. These are demonstrative pronouns and these are demonstrative adjectives. Okay? At the end, at the end, lo único que, que es, necesito que se me enfoque es esto, right? This, that, these, and those. Let me show you more examples. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I'm sorry. Okay? Listen and watch. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use demonstrative pronouns, this, these, that, those, to express possible choices. Hello, this is what we're going to do. We will listen to the audio program first, try to follow the topic, and as soon as it is done, we will talk about it. Demonstratives. One, ones. How much is this necklace? How much is this one? How much is that necklace? How much is that one? Which one? The blue one. It's $42. How much are these earrings? How much are these? How much are those earrings? How much are those? Which ones? The yellow ones. They're $18. Prices. $42. $59.95 or $59.95. As you realized, we're talking about demonstrative pronouns. As you know, there are four. This, these, that, those. I know you have studied this before, so we will make a quick review. This, singular, near. These, plural, near. That, singular, far. Those, plural, far. Therefore, we use is for this and that, and are for these and those. In English, we use one or ones very often when talking about choosing or having more than one option. For example, I ask, is that your car? Which one? The red one or the blue one? The red one. Yes, it is. The words one or ones always go at the end of the question and answers and they replace the noun in question. Okay, this video you can find it on the platform. Over there you can find it in case you want to check it one more time, right? But pretty much it's the same thing, right? It's the same thing. We have how much is and how much are, yes? Why tenemos how much is and why and why we have how much are? Yes, 
Gabriela, Lisette López, explíqueme, ¿por qué cree que tenemos how much is or how much are? ¿O qué entiende? What do you understand? Uh, I think how much is is because for one thing and how much are is in plural. Beautiful. That is correct. Very good, right? So remember, if singular, basically we are asking for one singular product, R is plural. So when we have R, so we have two objects, right? So plural, plural, plural. If you see here, right, how much is this t-shirt? So plural, plural, singular, yes? This one also, we have this one, singular, singular. So singular, singular, singular. How much is this one? Yes? Oh, how much is that t-shirt? Again, singular, singular. Why? Because the verb to be here is singular, right? Again, that one, that one, okay? Singular verb to be, singular, singular. Yes? Also, which? Utilizamos which, Miguel. When do we use which, Miguel? Please, thank you. For choice, teacher. Exactly, right? With choices, very good. With choices, right? Yes? Which one do you want? Watermelon or melon? Yes? So you have two options. Yes? Right? So, cuando yo digo which one, tengo un bunch of options, right? Usted va... Donde el señor que está vendiendo, right? Y le dice, hey, how much is that backpack? Y le dice él, oh, which one? Porque tiene como 20 ahí, right? Right? Y mire, le dice, oh, the blue one, le dice usted. Yeah? The red one. Oh, the Spider-Man logo. Yeah? Or the one with, I don't know, Iron Man. Yes? Right? So when we have which one is when we have a bunch of options. Yes? Y para no mencionar la, oh, el montón de objetos, solo decimos, hey, which one? Yes, right? Como cuando usted va a comprar avocados al mercado, right? Y está el canasto ahí, right? With a bunch of avocados. Hey, dice, give me a dollar of avocados. Oh, okay, yeah. Viene la señora y empieza, no, 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 le dice, give me that one, give me that one. Ese quiero yo, give me that one, right? Y la señora le dice, which one, which one, right? You understand? And you take it, yes, you take it. So it's, it's quite the same. When you have a bunch of options, you can use which one. And also here, very good, uh, Gabriela Lisette, we have R because aquí tenemos una palabra R, I'm sorry, plural, plural and sneakers. Mire sneakers, tiene S. So that means it's plural, right? Yes. Those, also those is plural. Again, we have the sneakers here. Here we have, mire, le pusimos una S so we can make it plural, right? So which ones, which ones, right? Y también en la respuesta, we add S, right? The gray ones. Also, cuando vamos a dar el price, si es just one product, utilizamos it with verb to be. It is, it is, right? Pero si son something plural, vamos with their, their, they are. Yes? So this is the way we play it, right? Yes, in my recommendation, again, Siempre se los recomiendo, practice your English at home. Se va, digamos, right? A la cocina y empieza. Oh, what is this? This is, I don't know, a spoon, let's say, right? What is this? Oh, this is, I don't know, a fork, right? Oh, what are, what are those? Oh, those are, I don't know, towers, let's say. Yes? So you can practice with this one. Here we have price, right? Uh, are you the man with the prices, please? Um, let me check, let me check, let me check. Dalila, are you the man with the prices, Dalila? Please, thank you. Read, say, say uh, the prices. Okay. 90, 90 cents. $28. Uh, $28.99. Exactly, very good, right? Very good. So this is the, the um the price. Remember that we work with numbers, we work with prices, right? Yes, one dollar, two dollars, fifty cent, macharamusca, something like that. Uh so you can have it. Okay. Any question about this? Preguntas about this? Questions? 
Solo, disculpe, teacher, una pregunta nada más. Yes, Ten. Este, en el, con respecto a cuando es por eh, plural, solamente se dice how much are these. No, eso estaba viendo que cuando es, eh, sin, eh, perdón, cuando es singular, solo es how much is this one. Yes. Y en el otro hall es this, solo es el, 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 el ¿cómo se llama? El, la palabra this. Sí, tenemos, eh, lo, le cambiamos la palabra, tenemos this, cuando está cerca los productos. Varios productos, como está cerca y dice this, uh -huh. right? Ahora, si están lejos los productos, usted puede decir those. Yeah. Ok. Ok. Y aquí utilizamos which ones, right? Para hacerlo plural, which ones. Okay. Entonces usted le dice al señor, hey, how much are those sneakers? Y como el señor tiene como 40 pares, right? Él le dice, which ones? Okay. Which ones? Right. Entonces le está preguntando él, cuáles, right? Which ones? Which ones? Ok. Yes. El one, el, el one se utiliza solamente con el, con, el, con, el, con, el, con el plural, solo se utiliza cuando se va a contestar el which, which ones. Exacto. Sí, la mayoría de veces va siempre con pregunta y va al final. Ok. Yes. Yes. Y si usted se fija, estos, pero, o sea, esto no tiene, esto no tiene verbo to be, usted dice, which ones. Which ones. Ahora, para utilizar esta cuestión, usted tiene que tener un contexto. Un contexto antes. Venimos desde aquí, desde how much are these sneakers. Entonces, para que usted haga la, o le hagan esta pregunta, pues tiene que tener un context prior. Yes? So you need to have like a short conversation before. Okay? Entonces, el que vamos a utilizar with plural es once, y en with singular es one. Okay? Yes? Question? No? Let's carry on. Here we have some example. We have prices. Okay. So we're going to have some products here, right? And we have, oh, how much are these? Which ones? The brown ones. They are $95 with 50 cents. That's expensive. Okay. And here we have some expressions that we use. When we talk about prices or when we, um, we are like buying something, right? So we have the first one, that's cheap, that's cheap, that's reasonable, that's reasonable here, that's reasonable, that's okay, not bad, and that's expensive, right? When you say, when you, say man, right? you see the product, oh my gosh, that's expensive, right? <laughs> that's expensive. But, but if you go to downtown, if you go to downtown, to a centro de San Salvador, right? Maybe, oh, that's a reasonable. That's a reasonable. Or that's cheap. That's cheap, right? The prices of, of the products are pretty much cheap. Or if you go to Dollar City, right? We go to Dollar City, right? <laughs> that's cheap, right? So it's like, I don't know, $1, $2, yes? But also we have the expression that depends. Dollar City ya no es cheap, teacher. Ya es oh, más o really? menos reasonable. Yeah. Oh, reasonable, yes. That's true. Because all of the things are like $1 and, and, and beyond, let's say, right? So $3, $4, $5. That, that's, that's reasonable. That's why, Miguel. That's why. Yeah. Okay. So the idea is that we can have this short dialogue, like how much are these goods, right? So we have this one. ¿Cómo quedaría con esta picture here, with this product? Okay. ¿Cómo quedaría this one, right? ¿Cómo usted pregunta, right, for this product here? Anybody? Anybody? Oh, thank you, Irma. Oh, I have a question. I don't remember the name is Gap. Oh, of this product. The product. The oh. red, the blue one with the tiger. Oh, 
Oh, oh, okay, can you repeat that one one more time from the beginning? Um, the name of the middle item. Of this one, what is the name of the yeah. product? Oh, okay, somebody can help us with that one. How do we say this product in English? I don't remember if it's gap. Like like gap like this one or gap or cap like this one. No. G A P. Okay, like G A P. Uh-huh. Okay. What do you think, people? What is the correct option? This one, this one, or this one? Number the one, two, or three. One. The second one. Oh, the second one. That's very good. Thank you. The second option, Irma, is the correct one. We have a cap. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't remember. That's okay. No problem. How much? How much is, is that cup? Uh, which one? The the blue one. Oh, it's nine dollars and fifty cents. Wow, that's expensive. <laughs> Good <Goodbye. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> it's Nike, that's why. <laughs> yeah, correct. <laughs> está bonito, dice uno. Ah, yeah, está bonito. It's beautiful, but uh, it's not affordable. I will be back, right? <laughs> I will be back, right? Okay, yeah, that's true. I prefer Maybe. to go to the dollar city. <laughs> Come on. Okay, ¿se fijó cómo lo hizo Irma? Very good. ¿Se fijó cómo lo hizo Irma? Yes, right? So, this is the way we do it, right? This is the way we do it, right? So in this one, again, como les dije en algunos, en alguna clase, right? The vocabulary is very important, yes? Right? Vocabulary is very important because here Irma is using the color because she's saying, she said, she's saying, oh, how much is that cup? Oh, yo le dije, which one? Right? Entonces, para que yo la identifique, she needs to give, she needs to give me like a color or what is the, I don't know, the figure that we have um in the on the on the cab right so very good very good what about these ones what about this one anybody please how how do we ask for the price if we have this product here? this one anybody um, um, yes. oh yes please thank you okay uh, how much are those sunglasses? Okay, which ones? Uh, the red ones. Oh, those are five dollars and twenty-five cents. Oh, that's reasonable. That's reasonable for me. Reasonable. 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 Perfect. Thank you. Reasonable. Yes. Very good, right? That's the way. That's the way we do it. Very good. Now, voy a seleccionar a dos y van a hacer lo mismo. Yes. Lo mismo que estuvimos haciendo Irma. And also, um, who was the other one? Es que no me apareció el nombre. Gabriela. Oh, Gabriela. Thank you so much, Gabriela Lopez. That was very nice. Okay? So, voy a seleccionar a two students so you can do the same. Remember, don't worry about it. If you need help, we are here for you, right? So, we can help you. Uh, igual, si no puede participar, uh, let me know. Okay. Yes, José Antonio. Está en lo correcto. Very good. Está en lo correcto, right? Which one puede ser cuál? And which ones es cuáles? Okay, because we have plural. Thank you so much. Okay, Telma. Thank you, Telma. And let me see who else. And Elena. Selma and Elena. Okay? Yes, teacher. Okay. Perfect. Let's see. Okay. How much are these books? Oh, 
Okay, let's, let's switch with Veronica. Veronica Alice. Hello. Hello, Veronica. Puede participar? Yes. Yes. Oh, that's very good. Okay, so one, one more time. One more time, Telma. Okay, ready? Okay. Perfect, okay. thank you. Yes. How much are these books? Which ones? The brown ones. There's a lady, I know, I know, I know, I know, I think. Help me, please, to share. About 95. 95 uh, dollars. That's expensive. Okay, thank you so much. Ahora háganlo con algo singular, Tema. Please, thank you so much. Con singular, Tema. Please, thank you. Okay, sería how much is is this boot? Oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, Tema. Uh, when we have boots, okay. when we have shoes, for example, jeans, shorts, or so glasses. Siempre van a ir en plural. Because, um, uh -huh. you know, no le puedes meter solo uno, right? So, siempre va a ir with plural. Okay. Yes. Ah, okay. 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 So, you need this to is the yeah. how, how much is this goods? Okay. Ahí sería. Have or that picture? Oh, oh which? What did I say? Which? Which ones? Which or, one? Or which ones? Which mm -hmm. one? Exactly. Very good. Okay, Jelma. Okay. Uh, the the brown one. Uh, this is uh fourteen dollars. That expensive. Okay. Thank you so much. You're very good. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. So this is the way. This is the way we do it. Right with singular objects and also with the objects. There are ob objects that always are going to be plural, like, like boots, like shoes, like uh, glasses, also shorts, pants, uh, those things, or scissors as well. All of all of those products are always plural because those boards in here, okay? And also we can ask for singular products, okay? So um, again, we ask how much is this? Or how much is that? Or we can say with plural, how much are those? Or how much are these? Okay. This is a good way that we can practice vocabulary, right? So you can go around your house and you can say, oh, how much is this cell phone? Oh, how much is this orange? Oh, how much is that ban is this banana? Oh, how much is that painting? Oh, how much is that TV? Oh, how much are those, I don't know, blankets? Oh, how much are those, I don't know, pillows, right? So you can practice vocabulary in this way at home. Yes, right? Va con su esposo ahí o su esposa, right? Y le dice, oh, how much is this watch? How much is this watch? Oh, how much is that, I don't know, T-shirt? How much is that, I don't know. Uh, like that? <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, it's time, people. Thank you so much for being here. Enjoy your night. Be nice and be kind, and we will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Take Thank care. Thank you, Mr. Palomo. Bye. My pleasure. Enjoy your night. Bye-bye. Thank you. Good night. Good night. job. Good yes. job. Bye. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye. Good night. Thank you, teacher. My pleasure. Have a nice night. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Good night. Thank you so much. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. 
una, una pregunta. ¿Cómo dijo que se llamaba la aplicación aquella? ¿Y dónde la descarga? ¿La descarga en, en, play, en la Play Store? No, está for free. Está for free. Está gratis, ¿verdad? Right? You, you can practice. Practice. ¿Cómo? Practice. Está gratis, ¿ok, Luis? <laughs> Thank okay, you. okay. Bye-bye. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>